So if you're the returner, you step inside the court and you short ball, that will come in. What Federer used to do, what I like, ball comes, you come with the short slice. You see now they have to run. Hey guys, it's Coach DeVore. I'm here with my student Bradley and today we picked a topic that a lot of players have trouble with and what is the type of player you struggle the most playing with? With pushers. Pushers. <laughs> yes, pushers are human beings, guys, and they exist and there are a lot of pushers out there and it's not bad. Pushers, that's just the game style, right? So you have to beat it, so you can't complain or cry about it. So today we're going to show you four amazing tips guys you do not want to turn the camera off you don't know what you don't not want to turn the phone off right now four amazing tips how to beat pushers so stay with us and it's going to be amazing all right bradley we just rally and we assume that i'm a pusher which i'm not okay every ball is nice and deep and the pusher doesn't miss they hit every ball nice and deep and they never Miss. They give you thousands of these balls day and night. You see, it's starting to aggravate him. You see, he framed already. They give you nice moon balls. See, he doesn't know what to do on those, and they never miss. And they never miss. Okay, that was out, but we assume that was in, and they never miss. Look, they give him, and that, see, now he missed that. Patience stopped. So those players, there's four ways to beat those players and I want you to I'm gonna show you now let's start with the first way it's the return so this is the first tip how to beat a pusher when they have second serves or they have weak serves your only chance to not get into the push rally is to attack them right off the bat right so give me a weak All second right, so rally just tap it in so if you're the returner you step inside the court and you you attack that ball, that's your ultimate goal, right? So you saw how I stepped inside the court, do that again. And you take time away, and ideally you want to hit it to the left or right of your opponent. You don't want to go to the middle. You see, I even have time to run around and I attack that ball. <laughs> so when they serve second serves, time to attack, all right? If they have a weak first serve, time to attack. That's your only chance to not get into the rally. So do that again. So if you just play it safe, right now then you're back into back into the element where they can push you around the court and do whatever they want okay so that was the first thing well, important is that the return if you hit it hard in the middle it doesn't help you against pushers because they push it back so you have to find the corners on the return okay all right what do you think about that that makes sense yeah yeah so you play a pusher and you know you're physically not going to beat them because they run you down and slamming every ball from the ground strokes will not work because you're going to miss or they're just going to hit every ball longer than you right so then you have to attack the second serves right yes yeah. all right the next thing is go back for that purpose i'm going to serve i will serve out wide and you try to return it okay so the wide serve so you the second tip you need to improve your serves because if you just think the servant again the pusher can do whatever the pusher wants to do so now i'm going to serve out wide with slice serve i get it back and i can go to the open court i know the serve was out let's do that again i serve out wide there off the court i take it on the rise close in and i have them so that was one play that works really good on the deuce side, guys, against the pusher. The slice serve out wide. Go over there, and we kick it out. Kick it out. They're off the court. Court opens up, and we close it, and we win the point. Say, so, the second way to beat the pusher, learn the kick serve on the ad, learn the slice serve on the deuce. Even if they know where you go and you serve good, you will still get a short ball that you can attack. All right. Third way to beat a pusher. So you play the ball now like high and like a pusher, okay? 
So Bradley's going to try to push a little bit. I'm going to show you the third way, which is bringing him in to the net. Pushers don't like to run forward to the net. And it's one way to beat them. And they will have to volley. And a lot of times pushers are not the tallest players. So they're not as tall as Isner because that's not their game style. So you have shorter players. Shorter players are easier to lop and pass at the net. So we're going to play. Bradley's going to kind of push, yeah, look, here we go. I push a little bit back with him, we are just pushing, and all of a sudden you bring them in with the drop shot, or what Federer used to do, what I like, ball comes, you come with a short slice. You see now they have to run up, and they're out of balance. I was hitting that far back. For the beginner intermediate player, you want to make sure that you get a ball where you're a little bit more inside the court. You see that one, I would hit back deep. Here, this one is shorter. You go, you bring them in, you close in, and you're right here, and then you can put it away. So, the third way to beat a pusher, like we just did, is what, Bradley? Drop shots and short slices. Or the short slice, right? You remember Roger Federer? He was famous for yes. that short slice. Why is that short slice so important? It brings what? them into the Say net. Say again? It brings them into the net. Brings them into the net. And the short slice, it doesn't bounce. What does the player have to do here? Get down low down on it and where's the ball going he has to hit up up that means for you when you close in you're going to have a next easy shot right yeah. or like we showed the drop shot all right and the last way to be the pusher is if you're in the rally you get a short ball you need to learn how to hit approach shots so you're the pusher again so Bradley is the pusher again and now we try to get into the court. Here we go. I push back with him a little bit. The wind's blowing. I get a short ball. You hit an approach shot and you come in. Give me, feed another one in. So he's the pusher. Let's start that one over, Bradley. He is the pusher. And I'm the one on the short ball that will come in. And you try to end the point. All right, guys. So repeat the four steps, four ways to be the pusher. The first thing we did earlier, we started with the return, right? Yes. What do you have to be? You have to be the good returner. returner server. Where do oh. you not ideally want to return against the pusher? Against any other player, it's good to hit in the middle, right? Yes. The pusher will still hit that ball deep back. Yes. So you want to go to the corners. Corners. Good. Second thing. Serve out wide. You are in charge. You have 25 seconds to serve. It's as strong as weapon in tennis. When you serve, you dictate whatever you do. So on the deuce side, you want to serve them out wide. Add side, you want to kick out, right? Yeah. Slice, kick. Yeah. Later on, for the advanced players, you can add the body serves. But for now, that will be good. The third thing we did is... Short slices. Bring short them in. slices and drop shot. Bring the opponent in, right? Pushers are mainly what? They're not seven foot tall, oh, right? Yeah. Because that make, doesn't, it's not their game style, right? So they're shorter players, so they like to run. So if you bring them to the net, they don't have a big reach, and you can pass and lob them easy, right? Yes. And the fourth thing, you go yes. yourself to your net. You're a tall player. Any short ball you get, you try to get to the net, right? Yes, sir. So that's four secrets how to beat the pusher. You think it's going to help you? Yeah. All right.